One of the most important features in Photoshop is the ability to undo whatever you just did, because just knowing that nothing that you do is permanent allows you to experiment and play in Photoshop. For example, if I choose to flip this image by choosing image and then image rotation and flipping horizontally, I can choose to undo this. I can choose the edit menu and then choose undo flip canvas horizontally, or I can use the keyboard shortcut command Z on Mac or control Z on Windows, or I can show my history panel. And if your history panel is not showing, you can select it from the window menu and then we can click on the previous state, in this case, the open state, to undo that. Now, let's build up some history just by making some simple edits to this image. I'm going to apply a filter, so I'll go to Filter, and then Stylize, and let's just solarize this. And then I want to invert it, so I'll go to Image, Adjustments, and then Invert. I want to apply the oil paint filter, and don't forget, if you don't know where a filter is, but you know what the name of it is, you can always use the keyboard shortcut Command F on Mac or Control F on Windows. That brings up the search, and then you can just start typing in whatever you want to search for, and Photoshop will show that command. Clicking on that command will then bring up that filter. All right, I'll apply it with the defaults, and then I'm going to return to Image, adjustments, and I'll apply a little hue saturation adjustment layer. I'll colorize it and maybe colorize it about that nice little orange there. And then I'll choose image and do one more adjustment, just a little auto tone. All right, now that we've built up some history, we can go back multiple steps by choosing the edit menu and undoing the last thing we did, in this case, auto tone. Then if I choose edit again, we can see that I can undo the next state back. So I can continuously step back in time using the keyboard shortcut command Z. I can then move forward using command shift Z. But it might just be easier to click directly on the state that you want to go back to using the history panel. One thing to know about the history panel, though, is if I were to do something right now, I would lose these next two states. So the history panel is linear. Anything that you do while you're at a certain state will drop off the other states in time. All right, if I got to a point where I just really didn't like anything that I'd done, I can always revert the file by either closing the file by selecting Edit, and then close, or using the keyboard shortcut command W. Or I could choose File and Revert, and Photoshop would basically close the file and reread it from the hard drive. Or I can just use the History panel and click on the snapshot that was generated automatically when the document was open. And this is kind of a nice way to revert an image because, for one, I still have my history steps, well, at least until I do something else. But two, if the data for the file was being held in RAM, then Photoshop didn't have to go and reread it from the hard drive like it would have to do if you revert the file. One caveat, if you do close the file and then decide to reopen it, you just should know that the history is discarded. So the next time you open the file, your history is going to start fresh. Now, in future videos, we'll discover additional ways to work non-destructively with filters and adjustment layers. But as you can see, the ability to go back in time using multiple undo and the history panel is a huge advantage because it enables you to work in a much more flexible environment where you really shouldn't hesitate to try something new.